Hello everybody and welcome back. This video is going to be about HTML attributes. We're going to learn a few new tags and also what the attributes of tags do and how you can use them. First off, there is the HTML attribute reference on MDM just like the element reference and you'll notice there's a crap ton of attributes just like there was a crap ton of HTML tags. Again, you're going to use probably 10 to 15 of these a whole lot and memorize them and get to know them really well. The rest of these you're probably never going to use or only rarely and when you do just look them up. Um, you'll notice here on the attribute list it's got the name of the attribute and what it goes with. So for example, one I know is that's used a lot is source, SRC, so let's find it. SRC is used in a lot of different tags. While some like spell check is global and you might have slot is global. I've never used either of these in my entire life, just so you know. Shape only has a couple, so I mean there's some that are only rarely used or only used with a few tags, while some like source are used all the time and with a bunch of tags. So just keep that in mind as a reference, the HTML attribute reference if you want to Google it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to comment out a lot of, of what we already have because we don't really we don't really need it. So let's so I don't want to get the body tag. So comment all that out. Save refresh. We should have a blank slate. Not quite. I goofed. There we go. So now we have a blank slate. Down here below, we're going to talk about um, a couple things. First thing is that what is an attribute? An attribute is kind of some data that you put inside of a tag. For example, if you have a um, h1 tag, let's see, title, h1, and inside of this you might have something else. So you might have uh, draggable equals true. So let's refresh and it's, see how I can now drag it and look at it. It doesn't actually do anything, but it allows me to do that. So it's just kind of a, an option, if you will. Sometimes they're options, sometimes it's additional information about them, but it's this format. Key value pair. The key is draggable equals and then whatever the value is inside of quotes. You won't really use it often on H1, but when, where you will use it quite often is SRC, which is inside of a lot of tags like you saw, but especially image tags, IMG. An image tag has the source is required. It will do nothing if you don't have the source. And another common tag is ALT, that's the alternate. What that does is it, in case the image doesn't load, it's a kind of description of the image, but even more commonly used today is it's for people with screen readers. It tells, kind of describes the image or tells them what the image is. Let's pull up a tab in Chrome and find some, some in an image. I like puppies. So let's look at puppy images. Here's a puppy. Here's a fun puppy. There's a cute little puppy. So copy the link address. No, not the link address. I want the image address. Copy image address. And let's just look at it to be sure it is the actual image. Yep, that's the image right there. So what I do is you put that image address inside of your source. So you'll see all I did was paste the H, um, paste the URL into here. Notice it has HTTPS colon slash slash. If you don't include that, it won't work like you're expecting it to. And then for the alt, I'm going to put a cute puppy. Now I save this and if I refresh my page, I have my cute puppy image inside my page. And I can still do other things like h1 puppies are awesome. So I've still got you notice this is still a block level element, and then I've got my image right there. If I don't include HTTPS colon slash slash, save, notice it doesn't work. Because it's not looking for HTTPS, it's looking in my local files. And you notice it doesn't load, and instead it displays the alternate text. So if I undo that, save, refresh, there it's back again. If I hover over it, after a while it'll display the alt text. Um, so that's just something for your own edification. Another common tag that uses the source attribute are A tags. A stands for anchor and it's a link is basically how you can think of it. So if I wanted to link to, let's see, HTTPS colon slash slash www dot, I don't know, reddit.com. Let's go to reddit. Click here for reddit. 
save that. Notice the um, a tag is a self is a closing tag, so you have to have an opening and a closing. I forgot to mention this. Image tags do not have a closing tag. There's no slash image here. You don't need that. Images close themselves because there's never a time that you would put content inside of an image. The image is its own content. So you have an a tag, and you put for href is the um, the key, the value is whatever website you want to go to, and click here for Reddit. So save, refresh, and I click here. If I middle click on it, pulls up Reddit, front page of the internet. Right here. Now notice it's the same type of thing. If I don't put HTTPS, come over here, click here for Reddit, and I click. See what it does? It takes me to this is where right where I was, and it just takes me to www.reddit.com there. I don't want that. So instead of the HTML 101, it takes me to whatever I put in here. So if you want it to link to the internet, you have to include the HTTPS or HTTP if it doesn't have the HTTPS version. So that's how links work. And inside you can, um, again, nest things. So if I wanted to, I could copy this whole image. Ooh, that went over real quickly. Cut that out paste it inside of this a tag, save, refresh, and now my image is the link. If I click on the image, it takes me over. So anything you put inside of here, you can mix and match, you can put multiple things, you can put, um, put an h1 in there, this is still a link, the p tag, and even here, refresh. These are all the exact same link. They go to the same place because they're nested inside of this A tag. This A tag wraps all this stuff inside of it with the link. So there we go. So just to recap real quick, we learned that some tags have um, attributes inside of them. The format is the key equals value. So href equals the website, source equals whatever the source is. So it's key equals the value and the value will be in quotes. And there's more. There's some of these um, attributes that don't require a key value. It's just a, a single one, like you saw that draggable. There's also like focus, would, or autofocus rather, which means that your cursor will automatically go there. This is useful in forms, where you can like have the, the cursor be in the first one or things like that. You could have disabled. There's a lot of different attributes you might use. These are really, like I said, really handy in forms. But we learned about attributes. We learned about how to embed images. We also learned how to do links. Links are the A tags, and you have to have an href for the links, and for images, you have to have a source. And for images, I'm gonna say that you have to have an alt text. Now, the page will still load without an alt text, but it's very bad form, and it can get you in a lot of trouble if you do this professionally if you don't provide an alt text, because that makes it so that people with screen readers can't really use your site very well at all. It's very disrespectful towards people with disabilities. So in this course, every image must have an alt text. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm happy to help. Hope you have a good one.